Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Morning everyone. So we will review the profile of last week. We are the seven june 2020 and the profile was from the first of june so what do we got we got a level right here that can be taken as a buy and a sell and we have several touches from last week this was was a winning trade and after that we have an engulfing right here engulfing the spike it's like a breakout trade i will not count it but you could have entered for a buy at this specific end of this specific candle after that what you got you got the beautiful pin bar retracement entry it's a losing trade right here after the price breaks the level and once the level is broken you have a pin bar right here and this could have been taken for a buy and it's a huge winning trade you could eventually have one more loss with this specific doji broken down it could have been a second loss the week was tricky because that's the beginning of the month it was nfp and also that's the end of the lockdown in a lot of countries. So the economy of the said country went in a nice trend for this week. So we have one loss, two loss, one win right here for a buy once the level is broken. After that, we have two levels that I wanted to sell and we have a bearish pin bar, retracement entry right here, stop loss right here. This one made, I think, two reward. So this is, uh, let me check. Yeah, it made two rewards. So we have a break even trade right here. So there is no win right here. And same happen. We have a huge breakout of the zone and we have a doji right here. Doji broken up was a winning trade. This same doji right here broken up was a winning trade also. I will not count those because I made arrow going down. But so you know, you can have a possibility to make those two winning trade for a buy. And after that, <coughs> exactly on Friday, we have a very beautiful pin bar right here. Retracement entry triggered, and this one is still on. So all in all, we have one break even right here, one loss, one loss, one win on this chart. Now let's look at Hotcat. So Hotcat, we have a beautiful pin bar, retracement entry, stop loss right here. How many pips? 22. It's a break even trade. So this one, break even trade. After that, uh, price broke up broke up made another bearish pin bar right here retracement entry triggered how many reward right here 34 78 this is a break-even trade also and after we have this huge pin bar uh, this one is a losing trade eventually if you re-enter and finally you have another pin bar and this one is running so there is only two break-even one loss to count on this chart hot chf so CHF, we have a pin bar right here, retracement entry, it's a losing trade. After, same, we have a doji, doji broken down, so eventually another loss right here. And this second doji for a break, when the level is broken clearly, which was the case, for a buy, this one is a winning trade, right here. After that, br broken level clearly also, and the same, we have a trade right here. And uh, this one was a breakout trade. So after one reward, you put to stop loss to break even. And this one is also a bullish pin bar. So we have a retracement entry and this one is a winning trade going up. So my arrow goes down. <coughs> so in case I will not count this trade, but this trade was a valid setup. Those two and one is a beautiful winning trade with three reward. So I count only two losses and one win right here. I don't count those two win right here. Odd New Zealand. Odd New Zealand, beautiful monthly level. We have a dodgy at the level broken down and a huge winning trade for the week. If you didn't take this dodgy breakout, you have an engulfing breakout right here. <laughs> Both trades are winning trade. Odd GPY. At the beginning of the week, we have a pin bar and this one is a losing trade after no setup price broken violently and same you have a breakout trade right here my arrow was not right it's my my fault i should have made both direction and this one was a winning trade i will not count it but it's a beautiful winning trade for buy and at the end of the week right now we have a trade at entry retracement pin bar and the stop loss is here so we are at break even right now and this trade might win beginning of next week so we have to count one loss on this chart Odd Singapore. 
odd Singapore first level we have a pin bar and this one we can eventually count it as a loss because there is a round number so the rejection was uh, a good probability to sell here so this one is a losing trade after you have a doji breakout and other losing trade and after level is broken and you would have the chance to buy right here same here this is a good setup to buy because the level is clearly broken up and made a pattern a bearish pin bar retracement entry and this one is already a winning trade i don't count it because my arrow was wrong so i take responsibility and i count only two losses here euro odd okay so euro odd same we have a pin bar right here this is a losing trade and after that we have a bullish pin bar right here and this one is obviously a winning trade um, then same again once the level is broken you have the chance to make one trade this one would have been break even because it's a breakout trade so when you have one reward you place your stop loss to break even and after you have a second chance at this level and this one is a winning trade made two rewards already i don't count them because once again my arrow was wrong so i take responsibility and uh, i count only one loss and one win on this chart gbp odd so gbp odd we have we have nothing at the level except this bullish pin bar and the trade at retracement entry stop loss right here uh touch and it's still running stop loss is around uh, tac, tac, 65 and price made 120 so now our stop loss is at break even and we wait next week to make the third reward and same happen here i don't count it but you have this trade that was a breakout trade and it's a it's a beautiful winning trade for a breakout entry so I count nothing because no trade is really completed on this chart. CAD CHF. CAD CHF, we have a beautiful, two beautiful trades. So first we have touching the level. We have this pin bar, but very little. So I would have, I wouldn't have entered this specific one. I would have entered eventually at the break of this uh, dodgy. But in worst case scenario, I can count this one as a loss if you want. And this one as a win. And after you have a doji breakout, huge, huge, huge winner right here. So you have two wins and eventually one loss. CAD JPY. Um, so CAD JPY breaks the first level. Second level railroad track. So is this one 37. So retracement entry would have been right here with like 20 pips maximum. And it made 45. So the second trade right here is break even. Break even right here. After you have a doji eventually breakdown, but with this big candle going up, uh, you don't enter the doji. Actually, what was better to enter when you see this big candle going up is eventually a buy when price made this specific doji right here. And the buy is a winning trade. But to make worst case scenario, in case you made a mistake, I will count this level as a losing level. Next, CHF JPY. CHF JPY wanted to buy this level and we got a very strong pin bar right here and after that we got this very like uh, angle thing right here so we have two possibilities to enter your trade break out here break out here and those two are winning trades and after this level for a buy or a sell we have a very nice bearish pin bar right here and you could have entered this one for a sell and it's still running one two entry uh, one on this one and I count only one because it's like two reward each. So CHF Singapore uh, didn't reverse exactly at our level but made this specific doji and you could have traded this doji. Why? Because the 50 EMA broke the 200 EMA in a downward direction which is a confirmation of a downtrend and after the price just made the doji at the 200 EMA. So when it does that this trade could have been taken as a breakout and it's a huge 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 winning trade tag 27 and it made 180 so this is six reward just in the matter of uh, half a day i don't count it just show you that it was possible to take this specific trade and after on friday we have this during nfp so it's weekend everything so we wait the retracement it's a very big candle so there is no trade to count on this chart singapore jpy Singapore GPY, we got this doji broken down and made one reward. I can count this as a loss to be sure. And that's it on this chart. Gold. Gold, we have very nice trades. We have this railroad track first, but didn't touch the level and it made an angle thing after that. 
So you could have entered each one of those. It's a very clear pattern. So even if it didn't touch for like two pips, it's not a big deal. Uh, you could have entered those trade and placed your stop loss a bit above. And this one are a huge winning trade. After that, you have this pin bar. A long week. You could have entered eventually half the week and it triggered. And this one is a winning trade also. So we have two winning trades on gold before it falls. Silver was, was the level right here. Clearly broken. Eventually you could have entered this trade right here. And this one made uh, maybe it's a losing trade. And since my level was only to sell, uh, I will not count this one also. And after, what we got? We got like a M formation. And you could have entered eventually with more certainty when this bearish angle thing forms. And when this forms, you have a nice winning trade going down after that. That's the only trade on this chart. And it's a winning. So EURUSD wanted to sell the level. We have eventually a doji break right here, which is a losing trade. After that, we have a second doji break right here. Same. One is a losing trade. And we have a pin bar. And the pin bar right here uh, made two. So it's a break even trade right here. So we have two losses and one break even. EUROCAD. EUROCAD, we had a beautiful setup last week. This bullish pin bar right here. This one made huge, huge, huge money. You can see, uh, maybe seven reward. So it's a winning, beautiful trade. Euro CHF. So this doji didn't break down. So there is no trade at this specific level. After that, we have a railroad track and a bearish pin bar. Retracement entry nearly triggered. And this one is a winning trade. Uh, made obviously three reward. And it triggered actually. After that, we got the next level with a huge pin. This is a pin bar, so we can count one loss right here. Sorry, no trade, one win with this bearish pin bar, and one loss. Euro, New Zealand, uh, so eventually this level could have been buy and sold. We have the break of this doji, I will count it as a loss. And after that, break the level and come back near the level before going down. So there is only one loss to this chart. Euro, J. Why um, breaks the level? No trade right here. After made this very tiny pin bar. <laughs> Actually, this tiny pin bar is a winning trade because the retracement entry triggered 16 pips and it made 44. We'll check the one hour chart to see how it goes from there because I think it went down first before going up, and that's exactly what happened. So, this pin bar would have been retracement entry right here. 16 pips stop loss and it made 60 pips so it's a winning trade for a sell at this specific tiny pin bar right here euro singapore we wanted to sell this level uh, we have eventually this bullish pin bar it's a losing setup after price break violently touch the next level made a pin bar also and this pin bar is a winning trade so one loss one win here on this chart break violently the level goes to the round number so i wouldn't have taken those trades so there is no trade right here too far away from the level euro knock euro knock we wanted to buy eventually sell so we have this buy which was a losing trade and after a touch this is a sell and it's a beautiful winning trade one win one loss okay now gbp USD, strong level, buy and sell eventually, and we get the doji breakout, and it's a break even trade. After that, we have a pin bar, and this one is a losing trade, so one break even and one losing right here, and second level touch made a pin bar, so it's not finished yet, so it's running. So on this chart, just one loss to count. GBP CHF, same, my bad, this level could have been taken for a buy. So railroad track, this one was a losing trade right here. I count it. And after, made an angle thing and go up. After that, when it retouched the level, you can see we have a very nice opportunity to buy. And this one was a huge, 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 huge trade. Plus this one, which is running. But on this chart completed, we have one loss, according to the arrow. GBP, JPY, wanted to buy this level, that's what it did. After, we have this pin bar right here. It's a losing trade. <laughs> and that's the only trade. GBP, Singapore. One pin bar running, not completed, no trade. GBP, try. This one was tricky from last week. Uh, we have a doji forming right here. And breakout didn't happen. So there is no trade right here. 
after that breaks the level but we wanted to sell it only so you could have eventually taken this one which is a losing trade right here and after we could have entered this one but it's a very big body so retracement entry was better and retracement man made the break even trade so we have one loss on this specific chart euro gbp wanted to buy this level and we had a very beautiful a bit big pin bar you could have entered the retracement entry or middle of the pin both triggered and this is a huge winning trade more than six reward on this trade gbp sec so we wanted to sell this level and it made a pin bar and this first entry right here is a losing trade and the second entry hammer breakout of the hammer or angle finger retracement right here uh, are both beautiful winning trades gbp knock so same uh, my arrow were not right on this one so at the beginning of the week we have an angle thing right here retracement entry did trigger and 38 pips and it made uh, 90 actually it made 100 uh, 105 so this is a break even trade right here so nothing to count and after that it made an angle thing going down and it went down so it's, there was a possibility to sell this market very nice one right here after that we have the next level right here made a pin bar and this one would have been taken out so we can take count one loss right here and made a bullish pin bar so maybe re-entry right here and this one i think should have been break uh stop loss is at break even right now so one loss clear on this chart only nzd usd so we have this level that we wanted to buy and sell exactly at the beginning of the week we have an angle thing right here mm. this one is confirmed for a buying signal right here you could have entered this trade this trade is a huge winning trade after that you have a doji pin bar right here uh, this one is a losing trade and after there is a pin bar you can have eventually two losses on this level so one win two losses new zealand cad we have this bearish pin bar right here retracement entry <laughs> did trigger and this one made two rewards so it's a break even trade after that we have a pin uh, not really pin actually because the body is too big and after we have another pin bar right here stop loss right here and this one is running and maybe how many pips already so 18 pips stop loss and it made 48 so not yet completed stop loss is at break even right now so only break even two break even on this chart new zealand chf so same here i wanted to buy this level there is an arrow clearly and we have a bullish angle thing right here so this one is a beautiful winning trade after that we have a pin bar right here retracement entry and actually this one is a break-even trade and at this specific level we have eventually a second entry right here and i can count it as a loss yep so we have one win and one loss right here new zealand jpy no trade no trade <clears throat> here we have a trade breakout of this doji it's a losing trade after we have another doji right here broken down it's another losing trade two loss on this chart knock gpy this level <coughs> for buy and sell the doji didn't break down and we have an angle thing right here so you enter for a buy this angle thing right here and eventually you can count one loss here with this pin bar so you have one loss selling one win buying after that we got uh, doji didn't break down not really a doji and after the level is broken up once again you could have buy this level but the arrow was against it so no and after a nice level right here we have a pin bar retracement entry did trigger and this one is a winning trade you see a very tiny candle like that it's a beautiful winning trade so we have one loss one win and one win okay so monthly resistance we have a doji didn't break down after went all the way up doji this one yeah eventually break down we can count one loss right here <coughs> after we have an angle thing bearish so this one is a loss also and after there is no really pattern and it just go up but i don't count the second go up uh tac 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 so that's it there is only two losses on this chart following the arrow usd can USD CAD, I wanted to buy this level, it was a strong level, and I was wrong. We have a pin bar right here. This pin bar was taken out here. And it's a doji forming after that, so there is no re-entry. 
so this is one losing trade right here and as you can see the price was made an engulfing bearish engulfing right here and i should have placed a double arrow to take this one as a breakout and it was a winning as a breakout so i count only the losing as a buy usd jpy we have a pin bar bullish pin bar and at the end of the candle you could have entered all the breakout both of them are stop loss 18 pips and it made 36 so it's a winning trade for the breakout entry and the retracement or in the candle are also winning trades this one is a winning trade two to three reward after that we got a pin bar and this one is a losing trade usd chf usd chf we got the bullish angle thing right here and this one was a losing trade after a second one a second one retracement entry stop loss right here and this one made uh, since it's a huge candle i took only two reward and uh 27 no it didn't make the two reward so it's a break-even trade one loss one break-even that's it now usd singapore both direction for this specific level it was a doji broken up and it was a losing trade and after that, we have several doji near the level. A doji, this is an inside bar. And you could have taken eventually this breakout of this doji. This is a pin bar, actually. It's not a doji. The pin and bearish is clearly a pin bar. So you could have entered a retracement entry of this one. And this one made a huge reward for a sell. So one buy failed, losing trade, and one sell, winning trade. A USD Zar wanted to buy this level doji nothing at the level doji eventually this pin bar was a losing trade for a buy right here so beautiful pin bar didn't work out that's it and after that for a buy we got this doji didn't break out and i can count this one as a loss so we can count two losses on this chart worst case scenario usd Poland. this doji broken up and i think this one is a beautiful winning trade let's check yes it is because the price went down first, so it never triggered our entry. And when it triggered our entry, which was right here, the stop loss was right here, it never came back to trigger the stop loss. So this one is a beautiful winning trade for a buy. Then we got this pin bar right here, very big. Uh, ent uh, entrance could have been at the middle of the pin, stop loss below. And this one made two rewards, so worst case scenario, it will be a break even. So we have one winning trade right here and one break even. So I repeat one railroad track right here. This railroad track, stop loss here, is a losing trade. One winning trade at this bullish pin bar. And after that, we have one winning trade at the spike right here or right here. So I count one loss and one win only on this chart. USD Danish Krona. So what do we got? First level right here, doji broken up, losing trade. Engulfing bearish right here. Could have been an, entr an entrance for sale, but my arrow was against it, so no entrance right here. After that, we get a bearish pin bar retracement entry. This one is a losing trade again. After that, we had a pin bar right here. And this one triggered the retracement entry. And it made two rewards, so it's a break-even trade. So two losses, one break-even. After, we got a very beautiful pin bar, but taken out. And the second pin bar running. So on this chart, there is one, two, three losses, one break even. USD, CNH. So GBP, New Zealand. What do we get? Last week, end of the week, we got the bullish angle thing going up. So retracement entry triggered, and this one is a winning, beautiful trade. After that, this level could have been taken as a buy and as a sell. And what you can see is you got the railroad track right here. And this one, breakout entry, is a beautiful winning trade for a sell also. After that, at the level, we have eventually the bullish pin bar right here, which is a losing trade. And eventually this pin bar, bullish pin bar, which is, um, I think, around break even right now. So we have one loss, one win, and one win. So two win and one loss on this chart. And uh, also what I wanted to say about the profile, so what you can see on my profile, this is an important information. You have two types of lines. You have the yellow lines, this one, this one, this one, the yellow level, and you have this one, the light blue level. 
the light blue level are very strong level of monthly support and resistance and the trend usually starts and ends at this level. That's why there is only one type of arrow most of the time to this level. But if they are broken, the trend continue in the same direction and you might take the bounce out of this level too. But it is more likely that you can take breakout trades out of a yellow line than out of this blue line right here. That's the way the profile works and you need to have this, this information in account to take more advantage of it. So all in all, we have 25 winning trades and we have 44 losing trades. The 25 winning trade make three reward. I didn't count all the two reward to make it three reward for everything. So we have 25 times three, which means 75 reward win, minus 44, and it gives us 31 reward profit for the week. And if you multiply 31 reward times two, you get 62% profit for the week. So this week was complicated because it broke a lot of level and some of you might have lost money, even if the profile all in all made money. So you have to take in account that you can take <clears throat> some of the level in both direction and you have to switch your mind to make it, to make yourself able to take those trade. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.